Y'all, I am so over married at first sight, y'all. Y'all just don't understand how over them I am. You know, so, you know, I took the kids out today because baby daddy's not feeling well. He, he hasn't been feeling well since Sunday or Monday. Sunday. Monday. I don't know, Joe. So I sent him to go get tested. Yeah, he wasn't feeling well Monday. So I sent him to go get tested Tuesday and he got his result yesterday. He's negative for the COVID. So I sent him today again to go get tested. And, um, and then I, he got home. I sent the kids. I took the kids out to the store, walk them around, get them exercises. So, girl, I'm in the line. And what did I see? A preview of Married at First Sight. And sure enough, girl, acting crazy. And I'm like, see, this is why I am so over at Married at First Sight. I am so tired. I can't even turn my light on. Okay. I just threw this shirt on and look, look at this foolishness, y'all. Look at, look at this. This is why I am over married at first sight. I just don't understand why they continue to do this foolery. Like why, why do they continue to have this foolery on married at first sight? Like, you, you know, child, I just can't, y'all. Look at this here. Look at just look at this here. Look at this. Look. Does she need more? Yeah. Here. There you go. Remember, first impressions are everything. You just said that's two bottles of champagne to go. You ready for the vows? I'm ready for the vows. After this, you're married. That's it. Yeah. You have your vows, right? Uh, oh look, look at that. Look. <laughs> I just did. Yeah. Really okay. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? I mean, oh God, it's like <sighs> you're kidding me. This girl. So we have another drunkie. We have another drunkard this season. Okay, girl, if you say so. If you say so, honey, go ahead and play it. Play it, DJ. I'm really gonna get married. Let's see how she gets her man. Just relax. This is it. Oh! Can't help myself. Gotta get that last bit out before I become a lady. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I ask that you please stand. Did you hear what she said? I have to get that that last bit out before I become a lady. What kind of ghetto, fabulous? Trailer park trash is this? I I just I can't look at this. Yeah. It's happening. Don't miss the new season of Married at First Sight, Wednesday, January fifth at eight. And this is the foolery I'm supposed to watch a review. <laughs> it's like oh. Oh no no no! We don't talk about that on okay. on camera. We don't talk about that. Okay. I don't want to get. Another. I know, I know, but we don't talk about that on on camera. This is the foolery they I, they want me to watch and review. I am over mad at first sight, y'all. I need a new show to watch. I need a new show. To shout out to Felicia. Felicia sent me a new show on Fox that I'm going to look into. But if it's, you know, says polarization, I can't do it, okay? Girl, I'm just high. Anyways, I'm about to go take a nap. I just got in the house, and um, I'm about to go take take my nap. I haven't even had a chance to do my hair yet. I guess I'll try to wake up early tomorrow and do my hair and get it braided to go back to work next week. But I might not be going back to work because both of my daughter day programs are closed. And we're still waiting to hear about the baby's school because all the schools are shutting down. Cause well, anyways, child, let me go lay down. Um, I need reviews, cousins. I need y'all to help me with the reviews. Shout out to all the new cousins that's joining. 
um, in the last week, two weeks, week or two, I've gotten a lot of new cousins. So I really appreciate the love and the support. I need reviews for The Naked Wife. If you have not reviewed The Naked Wife, be sure to do so. And of course, 10 Years a Girlfriend. 10 Years a Girlfriend is the next book I want to work on getting it up to 100. Once they get up to 100 reviews, Amazon pick it up. Um, to the cookie of the table, shirts are on Etsy and on Teespring. Teespring, check Teesprings below. And of course, my wisdom journal. And of course, you should have gotten this little free tip. It's in your email, honey. If you didn't get it, comment below and I'll make sure you get it. This is a sample, sample of the Take the Cookie Off the Table devotional. All right, babes. I love you. I'm going to go lay down and hopefully, you know, I have the strength to get up to watch this foolishness tonight. I will be watching on Allegedly G and it's married at first time three hours. Okay. All right. Love you, babes. Bye.